what if I say these videos are AI generated and yes, you can generate them too for free. So we'll talk about today how you can use Van AI model, which is the latest model which helps you to generate text videos with just a few efforts. This is a new open source model which offers unlimited use and you can run it with your comfy UI. So it's really impressive. If you're skeptical about this, then you can check this code. And he points out that while the 1.3 billion variant delivers quality compared to Huna or even a bit better, the 14 billion version is on completely different level. So let's dive into that, how we can get it, get it up and just run it. So we'll follow the three step guideline today. First, we will install Comfy UI, then we'll download models, then we will set it up and explain you each, uh, everything, every part of the Comfy UI setup, that what this part does, what this part does not do, what you should avoid to get the best videos and will they generate some of the videos so this is Alit and you're watching skill curve so let's first go to the comfy ui installation process first you have to make sure you have all the necessary softwares which is install 7-zip to extract you to compress you the comfy ui zip file you have to install python ensure it's 3.10.6 or compatible version installed you should have git from official website you can install git just go to the git and you will get the software for Windows, Mac or Linux. You can download for any of these. It's completely free. Do not worry about that. Now let's talk about how you can download Comfy UI. First download a standalone version Comfy UI using direct link, which I'll give you all that link in the description. So do not worry about that. Then extract the download zip file using 7-zip into the folder name Comfy UI underscore Windows underscore Foldable. After downloading this, you can download checkpoint models like Dream, Shaper and all that stuff into the Comfy UI window portable slash Comfy UI slash model slash checkpoints folder. Then what you can do is go to the navigate to the library of Comfy UI window portable folder. Then double click it and run NVIDIA GPU.bat if you have NVIDIA GPU. If you don't have such high-end GPU virtual RAM, you can always run run underscore CPU.bat. Now let's talk about Comfy UI Manager because it's one of the most important part of this video step. A lot of people just forget Comfy UI Manager while it's really an essential extensor for Comfy UI, a popular interface for AI image video generator. You can use it for like stable diffusion and flux. It allows users to manage and install custom nodes directly within the Comfy UI interface, making it easier to browse and install update the various modules. To install this Comfy UI Manager, make sure you have Git installed. You can go to Git's official website and just make it download happen. After that, you can go to the navigate to the custom node directory of the Comfy UI folder. Go to the Comfy UI slash custom nodes directory. Then you can type CMD in the address bar and press enter. Then if you're on Mac, you can also open the terminal. You clone the Comfy UI Manager Git repository. And that's it. That's all you need to do for taking this entire thing effect. You can just restart your Comfy UI just after closing it to close the interface just restart comfy ui using your preferred method you can just simply click on restarting and that's it comfy ui manager is now available on your interface now there's an additional step i want to give you that ensure you have comfy ui installed before attempting to install the manager because sometimes it create conflicts and it's hard to resolve them either you have to delete it all or you have to just compromise through a lot of stuff i don't want that Okay, now it's time for the model. You can download the model, but before that, I want to show you some glimpse of how this model is reacting. You can see these videos. These videos are purely generated by AI and the same model which we are going to install on your local machine. So I know you guys are kind of excited. Now first you can set up this up for Comfy UI, first download the workflow and drag and drop in your interface. Now if you don't know what workflow, I have already give you the link in the description. You can just simply download the workflow, drag it on your Comfy UI your interface. Then you might notice some red nodes at first. Don't panic, head over to your node manager, update everything including Comfy UI and all your nodes. Then install any missing custom nodes, simply check what's missing, click install. And if needed, you can restart your Comfy UI. Once you have done, you are all set 
for a very smooth start. Now next up you will need to install several models. If you are using Swarm or some of these of the models will automatically download for you but for now Comfy UI, if you don't have high-end GPU running this locally, in that case I suggest you, you can go Think Diffusion in the cloud, you can run it uh, on the cloud but for now we'll talk about locally. So. You can check in the description, I give you some of the models link which is MS2 Video FB8 model. For those with lower VRAM, system is an optional download available with GGUF variant. If you choose this option, you'll need to change your diffusion model to load the unit loader GGUF and swap out the appropriate nodes. However, if you have a powerful GPU, like you have some 3090 and stuff similar, you should just offer larger FB8 models. Just follow the provided link, you already just download it and host it on a local machine if you specifically want you can just use 12b 14b models these are options like fp8 version which gives you 40tp 720p depending on your desired resolution simply download these files and drop them directly into diffusion model folders now in addition you must download the clip models text encoders and vae someone who use swarm that is it's not necessary but if you're on comfy ui you'll need to do it manually and again you can go to the description find all the links of these models clip models and VAE and just simply download it and go to the model slash VAE folder just drop it uh, you can I personally went to the FP8 variant for the clip version file you can just see it on your screen now, once you have installed everything your setup looks should be look similar like what you are seeing on the screen if it looks dissimilar just make sure you look similar because this will be better for the future ratio now what I'll cover you the most of today like I'll currently Running the 7022 model. So if you're, if you're watching some red nodes and red uh, borders, make sure you restart the Comfy UI, then reselect your models, load the image you want to use, then input your prompt. You can simply describe what the subject. You can include details like camera movement. For example, you might say camera slowly rotates to the left, or a woman in sleek black leather cat suit stands high above a cyberpunk city with neon lights illuminating the scene below. Is these all the prompts that you can just Either copy from ChatGPT or you can make your own prompt either but make sure the prompt should be little more detailed so the video looks legit. Now I've also added an image size mod node which no matter the image size you upload whether it's a massive 4000 4, by 4000 pixel image or something else it needs to be resized to avoid any issues. Unless you manually shut the dimension, we want to preserve the original proportion. So if your image is in 16-9 ratio, which is like widescreen YouTube kind of video ratio, make sure to maintain that. I'm using method that keeps the proportion intact while downscaling the image exceeds any set dimension. For 16 ratio 9 image on high powered machine, say 12bt into 720 if it the yield best quality if your image is square adjust accordingly keep in mind that generating the video can take some time it can process 30 minutes and all so make sure you have the enough patience note that resizing only occurs if the image is larger than the set dimension you might have noticed that some chinese text in the node labels do not worry uh, these are just a collection of filler words like blur ugly bad hands so these are just negative prompts that help you to uh, reduce all these bad effects on your video so these are just default uh, phrases included by original creators during training so if you prefer you can just swap these out from your english alternatives now let's talk about the video length there's a frame counter that lets you set the duration of your video in frames roughly speaking 17 frames equate to one second 33 frames for two seconds and 49 frames for three seconds and so on so you might be thinking that normally one second is 24 and 25 frames so you're right however this model was trained on 16 frame per second so that's why it seems output 16 frame per second plus extra frame resulting in 17 frame per second now I'm currently running a unit a unit PC. You can encourage your experiment with different samplers, MS2 generation, CFG scale of 4 tends to work well, but I feel free to try other settings if you're working with text video. The default there is 6. Once you press generate, you'll see a beautiful result. While generative AI can sometimes produce a few of uh, outputs. I've seen a lot of impressive generations too with this model so compared to others. So yeah, it's totally up to you how you're gonna use this model. But keep in mind this is not the fastest model or quickest workflow out there. There are a lot of things you can just start but this is one of the best great starting point to play with van AI model and comfy UI if you are first time to speed. So this was how you can use van AI model 
uh, with the help of the comfy ui it's pretty simple as you see we just need to install some few models on our screen just simply install it just drag and drop some of the workflow and you're good to go it may take a little bit time for generating videos now you can see some generations we generated from the van ui model if you like this video just simply click on like button share it and for more such cutting edge tutorial latest technologies videos every day just subscribe to the channel